so now we gotta now we gotta render these. We have to use basically we gotta use hardware uh, rendering. All the rest of these um, effects will probably you'll probably use software render. So we need to do a hardware render. So click on my hardware. We're gonna click on hardware here, and we're gonna want to go pr pr to production quality. And there's really not much more you have to do in here. Hardware or you know particles are pretty easy to render. Click on uh, common, and of course you want to um, en enable color management, and then uh, you want to probably call this um, whatever you want. Sparks A. Try not to use numbers. Um, and let's see, what do we have for choices here? Um, we have Targa. We'll choose that. And we want a name number dot ext. And we have 200 frames, so that'll be three. And we have one to two hundred. I probably don't need that many, but we'll do that. Camera's perspective. Of course, you choose your camera, and you probably want to keep the same camera that's animated in your scene. And which your scale or your resolution? HD seven twenty. Okay. So that's basically it. And what we need to do now is we need to go into Window and uh, Rendering Editors into Hardware Render Buffer. Okay, so now we need to set up the attributes of this or double check it. So file name will be Sparks. Okay. And we want name number dot extent. Name number dot extent. So let's go into here. And in frame is 200. Image format, uh, we want to set target. What resolution? We want HD 720. Okay. Alpha source. Let's keep it off for now. And we've got render modes and texturing, full image resolution, and that's all we need for attributes. Um, let's see here, what else we got? We want to make sure our camera is set up to perspective. That's what we have. And if you have a camera in here, it'll show up if you have a camera in your scene, so you need to select that. And then um, render sequence. There we go, it's rendering it out. There we go, you we're done, close it. Save your scene. And save it as as sparks. Okay, there we go. So that's how you select and animate um, and change the attributes of particles. Hope this helped you.